Hi, my name is Kira Leskew and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm doing a series of videos on mindfulness meditation and mindfulness practice aimed at the business community. So today's topic, which is interruptions, falls into the category of mindfulness in action. So today's society, we have so many things coming at us all the time that we constantly get interrupted. And in my last video, I talked about how long it takes for us to get back on focus. But one of the other things it does to us is it creates a lot of stress and it actually can become an addictive pattern if we don't catch it and if we don't stop it. And we see it, we see it today with um, people that if you're having a conversation with them, with them and they can't focus on the conversation, their eyes are looking all over the place or they aren't staying on topic, their mind's jumping here and there. Or another one is that you know, people are really addicted to their devices. Um, so they can't have a conversation with you, they need to get on a device. We also see it, people can't focus on driving, uh, even you know sports, other activities. People are having a real hard time just staying present of what they're doing. And the reason for that is, is that the more you interrupt yourself, it actually forms the same brain chemistry as an addiction. So in my early, one of my earlier videos, I talked about the different brain states. Um, the two that mostly apply to waking are alpha and beta. So really high beta, which is high cycles per second in the brain, uh, actually becomes addictive. And in fact, you know, either one, um, whatever we do, we form a pattern with that and we become better at it. So there's a tremendous amount of benefit if you're feeling stressed a lot to find little micro times during the day when you can be fully present and not be interrupting yourself. And the same with any other pattern or habit that we form in life, whether it's a good one, one that's helping us and serving us, or one that's detrimental to us, it takes time and practice and energy and focus to develop it, whether it's you know, positive or negative. And we kind of develop momentum in either direction. So if you find that you're having a really hard time doing some of these uh, things, like you can't have a conversation without checking your phone or looking around, or just being quiet by yourself makes you really nervous, spend time practicing giving yourself, even if there's short periods of time during the day when you're not getting interrupted. And you can look at my last video on some different ideas on how to do that. But I highly encourage you to just give yourself and allow yourself to feel what it feels like to not be interrupted. I know I went from a place where I was really, really stressed to not as much. And at first it seemed uncomfortable because I was so used to being stimulated for something. It felt like, oh my gosh, I should be doing something. Oh my gosh, something's gonna happen. And the truth is, if you find yourself doing that, ask yourself this question. Is anything bad happening right now? And 95 plus percent of the time, probably closer to 99 point something percent of the time, the answer is no. So you can just like, oh, okay, I can just relax for a minute or five minutes. I hope that helps. Look forward to sharing more mindfulness and action tips with you on future videos. Check out my website, kiralescu.com, for a download on easy mindfulness and action techniques.